Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, <clears throat> we're going to continue with our discussion of the basics of radical uh, and rational expressions and notation. And we're going to uh, take on some practice problems. All right, so just uh, reviewing the basics, we want to rewrite this expression using rational exponent notation. So in this case, I remember that if there's no index that's listed, and there's no power that's listed, then the uh, index is 2 and the power is 1. So I can rewrite this as 7 to the 1 half. So the square root of 7 I can rewrite as 7 to the 1 half. Um, here I see the power is 1, <clears throat> the index is 3, so I can rewrite this as 2 to the 1 third. In this case I can write this as uh, the cube root, uh, I'm sorry, the fourth root of 12 is equal to 12 to the 1 fourth. So here is the index. Index value goes in the denominator of the fraction <clears throat> of the exponent. And then my power value, which is unstated, is 1, goes in the numerator of the fraction of the exponent. All right, I'm going to rewrite this expression now. I'm going to go in the other direction using radical notation. So in this case here, I say the square root of 3. Remember, if I don't have the index here, it means uh, this index here is 2, which is a square root. In this case here, I have 5. The power is 1 and the index is 3, so I'd write it <clears throat> as the cubed root of 5. And then finally, I have the fourth root of 6. Moving on to our next set of equations, I'm going to evaluate the expression without using a calculator. So I know that the cubed root of 1 is just going to be equal to 1 because 1 times itself as many times as I want is still going to be equal to 1. The cubed root of 8 will be equal to 2 because 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. And then finally, the fourth root of 16 is also going to be equal to 2 uh, because 2 times itself 4 times is equal to 16. So if I were to rewrite this as a and x, and I want to uh, read this uh, verbally, I would say what value multiplied by itself x times, so x is the index, is equal to a. And that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so what value multiplied by itself x times is equal to a? Uh, the value 2 multiplied by itself 4 times is equal to 16. The value 2 multiplied by itself 3 times is equal to 8. And the value 1 multiplied by itself 3 times is equal to 1. 